so we're going to do 163 gigabyte instead of 164 so I'm going to put 3 alright you're going to put ext3 which should already be selected and it says mount point you're going to just put a forward slash that's all you're going to do is put a forward slash and hit ok now what you're going to do after this with that one gig of space we made we're going to make a something called swap um, basically what this is is um, it's something that Windows has also but it's less it's more discreet basically if the system runs out of RAM then it'll use the swap space and recover um, so basically you use the hard drive as extra RAM I'm pretty sure most of you already heard that so you're going to hit new you're going to select the free space one that should be about one one gigabyte hit new all right and you're gonna just ignore everything um, except for this ext3 thing here you're gonna click on it and, and click on swap okay and then you can hit okay so what you should have here after this is done sorry and I'll scoot it up here so you can actually see maybe I'll just attach the camera from the iPod or tripod. All right. So what you should have here is one that says um, ext3. It should be checked, and then one that says swap, and it should be checked, but it still should say swap. Okay. So once that's done, okay. I gotta love the uh, three-minute limit on this old camera. I gotta get a new camera. Sorry about that. All right. So once that's completed, you've got this all set up. You're gonna hit forward. That's going to load for a second. Like, more than a second. Okay, here you're going to enter in your full name. So I'm going to put Tim... Oops. Alright, now, you should probably keep this name. It says, what do you want to use to log in? I, it has an undercase, Tim, and you just want to leave that. Now you're going to make a password. So I'm just going to make one here. And then you're going to type it again um, to confirm it. Um, probably just want to leave the name of the computer alone. All right, and then you can hit forward. Okay, there were no users or other operating systems suitable for importing from. That's just migrating documents and settings. I wouldn't worry about it. Even if you have your XP installed, um, it's not detecting it right now. Um, and I have XP and Vista already dual booted on here and I'm actually going to do a triple boot when we're done with this. Um, it's not detecting either of them. I promise you it'll, it'll still work. Okay, you're going to forward. Give it a second to load. Okay, as soon as you have everything, you are sure you have done everything right, you hit install. Okay. Alright, so now it's installing Ubuntu. That'll take a couple minutes, and I'm going to kill the video and join you once this is done. Okay, so after it's done installing, you should see something like this. It says restart now. Go and hit that. That took about 20 minutes for me to install. It'll be less or more depending on your um, CD drive speed and your computer speed, internet speed, everything. So this will go ahead and shut down. Give it a minute. You should see something like that. Let me adjust the tripod here. Okay, then you should see a message that says, um, please remove this, close the tray if any, and then press enter to continue. It'll uh, spit the disk out at you automatically, and go ahead and take it out, and then hit the enter key. Okay, now your computer will automatically reboot, and it should create a automatically create a boot menu. Sorry about that, had my mom bother me. Anyways, um, so as soon as it's done loading, you should see a menu like this, similar to this. Now it's going to say Ubuntu Hardy or whatever Ubuntu you installed. That's you're going to be your Ubuntu. Now down here it's going to either say Windows XP um, or Microsoft Windows XP if you have only XP dual booted, or right now I have um, the Vista 
and XP dual booted in there so that's a loader. So it's going to store the loader right inside there. So now I have a triple boot system. So anyways, I'm going to boot into Ubuntu. So I'm going to go to the top one. Don't worry about these, those don't do anything, really. Okay, go ahead and hit the top one, hit enter. Okay, that'll boot up. Weird. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> 